Now that you have become familiar with the basic parts of your Singer sewing machine, you'll need some basic tools for successful sewing of any project. Be sure to use good quality scissors. This is important so that fabric is cut accurately. There are several types available, such as larger shears for cutting fabric, or smaller scissors for more detailed things such as trimming threads or clipping corners and curves. Use good quality pins for holding fabrics together when you sew, so you don't snag fabric or make holes in it. A fabric marking pen or chalk pencil is really helpful for things like marking buttonholes and pocket or applique placement. A rotary cutter, mat, and ruler are must-haves, especially for quilting. But these can also be used for things like cutting accurate bias strips for covered piping used in some garments or home deck projects. You'll find a tape measure very handy for all kinds of projects, large or small. For fashion sewing, a dress form can be one of the most useful tools in your sewing room. Not only will it help you sew more accurately, but it will look great in your sewing space. Pressing is an essential part of sewing, so you will need an ironing board and steam iron. Get the best that your budget will allow. You might also consider a steam press, which is great not only for ironing larger surfaces quickly, but for fusing stabilizers and interfacing, setting creases, and much more. You'll do your best sewing when your sewing space is organized. Keeping your sewing tools organized and handy will make your sewing even more enjoyable. Now, just add fabric and thread and you're ready to go. When selecting fabric for a project, choose fabric that is suitable for the project. If you use a commercial pattern, there are fabric recommendations on the back of the pattern envelope to help guide you. Fabric has a right side and a wrong side. If it seems difficult to tell the difference between right and wrong on a fabric, usually you can just use the side you prefer. Fabric has a lengthwise grain, which runs parallel to the selvage edge, and a crosswise grain, which runs perpendicular to the selvage. Pay attention to grain line when sewing so that your finished project hangs or drapes correctly when constructed. Bias is any other angle across the fabric surface that is not lengthwise or crosswise grain. A 45 degree angle is referred to as true bias. Fabric strips cut on true bias are used to cover piping, finished curved edges, and make quilt bindings. There are lots of different types of threads available for different sewing applications. Some are suited for basic sewing, and some are more suited for decorative work. For regular sewing, you can use the same thread in the needle as you do in the bobbin. For some decorative applications, you can use a lighter weight thread in the bobbin and a heavier weight or decorative thread in the needle. A good basic thread for general sewing is a cotton-covered polyester thread, also called all-purpose thread. For quilting, a 100% cotton thread is usually the best choice. Decorative stitches take on a whole new look when you use rayon thread because it has a nice sheen. You can use all-purpose thread in the bobbin while decorative stitching. Polyester threads can be used for decorative stitching or for stretch fabrics. Top stitching thread is a heavier weight thread often used for decorative embellishment. It can also be used for things like hemming jeans or for making buttonholes. Metallic threads provide a beautiful decorative embellishment. For best results, use a Singer Style 2000 Universal Needle. Although these are average size needles, the eye is larger to accommodate the metallic thread. This will help keep the thread from shredding while sewing. 
There are various styles of sewing machine needles because different needles are used for different sewing functions. Also, needles come in a range of sizes or thicknesses depending on the type of fabric being sewn. Your machine's instruction manual may have a chart which gives recommendations for which needles are best for various fabrics. Needles are referred to as being ballpoint or regular point. Ballpoint needles are designed to sew stretch fabrics. Their special design prevents stitches from skipping on fabrics that have an elastic quality. However, using a ballpoint needle on a woven fabric, like silk or cotton, can cause fabric threads to snag or pull. Regular point needles are designed for non-stretch fabrics. Their special design pierces through woven fabrics cleanly, producing excellent stitch quality. Using a regular point needle on a stretch fabric could cause runs in the fabric or skipped stitches. Needles come in various sizes too. A smaller number means a thinner needle, used for lighter weight fabrics. A larger number means the needle is thicker. Larger needles are best for medium to heavyweight fabrics. For denim or canvas, it is best to use at least a size 16 needle, which will help keep the needle from bending or breaking in the fabric. Needles should be changed if they become bent or dull, or if the tip should become damaged. It is recommended to use Singer brand needles in your Singer sewing machine. To change a needle, loosen the needle clamp screw. Remove the old needle and discard it. Check to see that the flat side of the shaft is toward the back. Insert the new needle, making sure it goes all the way up into the slot. Then, tighten the needle clamp screw. A twin needle is a special needle designed so that two needles share one needle shaft. You can create unique stitch effects with this needle, as well as do professional looking hems. Twin needles come in various widths and are available from your Singer retailer. To sew with a twin needle, first remove the standard needle from the machine. Insert the twin needle and be sure to tighten the needle clamp screw. Place the auxiliary spool pin on the machine. If you don't have an auxiliary spool pin, check with your Singer retailer to find the right one for your machine model. Now set one thread spool on the auxiliary spool pin and one on the regular spool pin. Thread both of the threads together as though they are one until you come to the needle threader. Manually place one thread into each of the two sides of the twin needle. For hemming, set the stitch width dial to the straight setting. Turn up the hem, pin in place, then sew on the right side of the garment. For a decorative effect, choose your stitch, then set the stitch width dial to a narrower width setting. Before sewing, turn the handwheel manually to make sure the needle does not hit the sides of the foot. A hem stitching needle, sometimes called a wing needle, has a unique design. There are extensions, or wings, along each side of the needle. As you sew, these wings push the fibers of the fabric open, creating small holes within the stitching. For best results, use woven fabrics like linen or cotton. Universal needles are especially useful for working with specialty threads, such as metallic thread. Universal needles have an eye that is longer than that of a regular needle, which helps prevent the threads from shredding or breaking while sewing.